my understanding is some of them KGB programmers done spent lots of time, well, no, not much time, a little bit of time looking at my code. They specifically looked at the Python because everyone knows Python, and they saw one thing about me, I'm writing scripts. In fact, I always use Jupyter Notebooks with Python. I'm a Scala programmer, and but they, they don't know Scala. So they look at my code and go, this regular expression is clearly wrong. He does not know how to code in Python. I ain't much of a Ruski copier. That's the thing. The Ruskies are the copiers. And so everyone looked at my code and was like, well, he doesn't even know how to code in Python. He's got fluent Python on his, on his shelf. But if you actually look at my code, I got like 400 lines of code in Python, maybe like 800, and I've got like 40,000 in Scala. So, I mean, come on. I ain't much of a Python. Python programmer unless I need it, and I'm pretty sure, okay, all, I think the point I'm trying to make is number one, y'all shouldn't judge a book by his Python code. Number two, the Ruski's been talking lots of shit for a long time, thinking, oh, he ain't too smart. The Chinos, they don't know how to code Scala. They look at that shit and they go, okay, he's solid. He ain't best coder. He done learned how to code for like two years. He's good enough coding if he's coded for two years. I, I think I'm impressed. All right, so the ending of this story. NSA come, they want me to code for them, or not code for them, they want me to make a Linux for them. I don't do it. I get mad at the NSA, and I say some things that kind of make people a little angry at me. Then I go to this resort, because I like showing up places like resorts, and, you know, join my life, why not? Didn't have any money, went there to go have some beers. Very nice place. Sit down, having a beer. Turns out, having a beer with a guy that works in the defense industry, top secret research. Uh, he says he works for Southwest, uh, what is it called? Ken Jennings knows. Um, Cause I, I swear to God, that's who I need. I need Ken Jennings so that I can be the, the modularity man. And Ken Jennings can be the not modularity man. Okay. What does that mean? I'm sorry, I, 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 I'll finish the Southwest story first. So he comes to me and he says, uh, the government doesn't think it's worth it to hire you. That's the end of the story. Uh, we talked for a little bit, he was a nice guy. Um, he, 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 think, he thinks that I'm not worth it because I'm not smart enough, apparently. Probably because I ain't no Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings is the man on Jeopardy. Uh, he's, he's, he, he just beat that other guy on Jeopardy, whatever his name is. The guy on Jeopardy knows what the other guy on Jeopardy's name is, I promise. That's why um, people like that are, are very impressive. I, I watch them, I, I am nowhere near as smart as them. But the difference is my brain thinks with modularity. And if you're a computer programmer, you understand the importance of modularity. Modularity is being able to break things down into groups. It's to be able to, it, what is it, uh, phylums or whatever. Oh, 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 don't go back to seventh grade biology right now because I, I don't know, even know what it's called. And everyone's going to be like, well, Ken Jennings will tell you what it's called. I swear to God. But I know what that shit is. Like, I'm talking about like uh, species and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like the type of animal they are. Like being able to break things down. And if you're a computer coder, your brain needs to think in, in terms like that. So when, I say, when I'm talking and I say, Jewish people always tend to turn fascist when the fa when the fascists in charge are, are Jewish or when they're on on the team, and then everyone goes, "Oh gosh, this is uh, this is so fancy that he talked about Jewish people." And I'm so mad now. That's pretty much what what they're gonna say. So, uh, what I'm telling you is, you can say anything about Muslims. You can talk about black people. Black people love fried chicken. Black people be like, "What the fuck?" But they won't sit there and be like, "Um, my lawyer would like to talk to you right now." Did, did, did you just say I like watermelon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, you're never gonna be able to function in society ever again financially. Okay, so them Jews, when I talk about them, they're like, oh, he's an anti-Semitic, anti-Hitler. What I want them to know is that I actually use modularity. And that's why, yeah, I ain't no Ken Jennings. And I know everyone wants uh, the person that's in charge of the smartest organization of all time to be Ken Jennings, because Ken Jennings knows everything. That motherfucker, I can ask him any question, he know it. I swear to God, it's crazy. But me, I don't know shit, but somehow I can break down a computer program and I can think about society in terms of a way that's predictive about the outcome because I am capable of doing math without ever taking a full calculus one class or pre-cal. I took two weeks, I think maybe a month. I can't remember, it was a mini-mister. I took one semester of calculus. I learned it on the internet too. 
Khan Academy taught me. All I'm saying is, I have taught myself advanced mathematics, but I haven't. I went to a tutor. I went to a tutor all the time in, in, in Texas. I went to a math tutor, an undergraduate student who knew linear algebra. And I'm telling you, I taught myself math. Without, without like, I mean, it, 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 and I don't have to, I'm, yeah, well, I, can, you give, can you do a problem right now? The Carnegie Mellon, Mellon guy can. No, but I can write the code. I can use those algorithms. I know when to use them. I actually, I, I, I learned the real math for support vector machine. Like, I learned it until I got to this one point, and then I was like, well, the, the Stanford guy ain't even explaining that part of the math, and I was like, this is fucking stupid. Why in the hell am I learning machine learning if I can only learn the math at this point? All I'm saying is, I don't even like that algorithm now. But um, I'm also trying to say uh, I'm a different kind of smart. I'm the type of smart that Vladimir Putin has just found out is on a whole different level compared to him.